All right, guys, this is something that's been in the works for a few months. My buddy Jerry over at Spectra 3D in collaboration with Bruce Williams and myself were all part of this process, but thankfully Jerry was able to create this awesome 3D printed Seiko nickname Loom Monster, right? So this is from the drawing that Bruce introduced a while ago in the nickname series, and then we've done a shirt and a hoodie. You know, there was watch straps out there, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna, we're gonna do more merchandise, but this has got to be the pinnacle of it. This is the coolest thing, and it's uh, all you know thanks to uh, Jerry. So, this here is a recreation, a 3D print of the Seiko nickname Loom Monster. In his claw here, he's going to be able to hold your watch on the nightstand. So you can put this on a nightstand or your desk or wherever you want to put it. Um, and you can put your watch in there. I mean, whether it's a regular Seiko or a Seiko Monster, um, it's pretty much going to hold it in his hand right here. So his claws are a little sharp, but uh, they're not going to scratch anything up or anything. It's a resin material, so you can see it holds the Seiko Monster perfectly. And it'll hold your SKX or whatever else you want to put in there. It's going to hold it no problem or a turtle or something like that. We, you know, we can we can try a couple different watches if you want. But um, you're going to have some base options, all of that stuff. So, you know, here it is with a SKX. No problem. Holds it no problem. It's going to hold a turtle, all that good stuff. And, there, and hopefully we'll see what the success of the sales are on this. Um, and you purchase it directly through Jerry. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's an Etsy store, and uh, I'll, I'll give you some details here in a moment. So um, this one's not glued down. He includes some clay putty that you stick this down to the base so it's not going to flip over on you. Um, but So you have to pick what base you want. So there's different bases. Um, it would probably stand on its own, but if your watch is really heavy, it could potentially flip over on you. But there's a full black one. Say you have a black monster and you want this one. Or there's a full loomed base or a full orange base with no loom. This one has loom in it. The black with the loom. The loom with the black. So you have a bunch of different options there for bases. The bases are $10 each. Um, if you want to do those independently, um, I'm going to run this one here and I'll put, I'll putty it down and make sure it's secure and everything like that. But if you, if you take a look at the monster here, it is, uh, the, t the tail's printed separately and then he, he, you know, attaches it. That's just the way the print has to be, but you can see it's just a, a very good print, very good looking, nice detail of the, the creature that was created. There was a lot of time and effort put into the you know the renderings and the uh, overall design features to get it just the way we wanted it there was a few different versions and this is the one we landed on so you can see there it uh, probably fold this over so it hangs that's going to put a little more weight on it i think but so once you glue it down it'll be good and he, he includes in the package he includes a little bit of um well, a few things. So you'll you'll have felt pads that go on the bottom of the base plate so you don't scratch up anything. And then this putty, this clay putty here, you put that in between the feet and then these nubs here and they'll secure it down really good. You can remove it if you need to if you want to change out base, but it'll hold it so it doesn't flip over on you or anything like that. You can see I don't have any on there right now and it's actually fairly stable, but if you give it a little bump, it'll flip over on you. So you know, if you tend to bump your nightstand or your desk or something like that, you're definitely going to want to put that putty in there. This thing is just killer looking. And, of course, later on, depending on how well these sell, maybe he can do different colors if you want a full orange one or something like that. But this one, I think, is the best version. This is a full loom one. Um, pricing, I know I'm babbling on. Pricing on this is $89 with free shipping. That will get you a, a base and this monster, it's $89. Um, I think that's a very good price for what you're getting. This is something pretty fun and exciting that you're not going to see elsewhere. This would be something awesome to have on your desk, whether it's at home or actually at your office or something like that. And you don't want to get those desk diving marks where you're typing. Maybe pop your watch off, throw it up here so you can actually see it and avoid those desk diving marks and uh, be slightly entertained at the same time or on your nightstand or something like that. So $89 will get you that kit. 
The individual bases, if you want to switch it up or something like that, these are all $10 each. And then the um, the full loom base, this one here, this is the full loom resin pr print. This one's a little bit more. It's $12.50 if you're interested in that. And then, of course, off in the background here, you see this little mini monster. A little bit cleaner print on this guy. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to do it in a loom print. This is some sort of like gray resin here. But uh, I think his price tag on this guy is $32.50. So if you're interested in just this guy instead of going with the full print, it's not going to hold a watch or anything. You know, it's, it's, not, it's just not going to happen. But um, it's still really cool. It's part of the nickname series. It's very cool nonetheless. So um, let me shut the lights off so you guys can get the full effect of what's really happening here. Because um, as, cool as cool as it is right here, Get ready for next level cool. Mind-blowingly cool. And it is super bright, distractingly bright. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I haven't done a time lapse on it or anything like that. But it is a very good, um, you know, glow-in-the-dark resin that Jerry's using. And <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't. It's hard for me to contain my excitement about this project. This is, you know... Been like I said, it's been months in the process and lots of pictures and videos and conversations and emails and everything going back and forth. And thankfully, Jerry was able to accomplish it. And now he's bringing it to market. So I wanted to get the video out there. If you want to buy it, you buy it directly from Jerry. He ships it. He takes care of everything like that. Bruce and I aren't getting a cut or anything like that. So that was to in order to keep the price down on the. Um, the whole process because Jerry's got some time into it and a small investment into it. So this is his baby for that part of it. We were just excited to take part of it. Um, so thanks for watching guys. And if you're interested in this, hit Jerry up, go to his ET store. I'll put a link in the description and pick it up. I think it's a fun thing to have in the hobby, especially if you're a Seikoholic like a lot of us are. So, all right guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next vid.